Hey, hey, everybody. How's it going? Hello, hello, hello. Come on in and join me as I paint two cute little bumblebees. I got these for when I did my live sale, so now I've got to get them painted. Um, I've already put my white coat on here because these areas that's got white on there, they gotta be yellow, and yellow is hard to cover with just one coat, so I try to kind of put a white coat to kind of break, like bring out my yellow to make it a good bit brighter. Hello, Melissa, hey, Miss Terry, hey, Miss Teresa, and Miss Ann. Hey, hey, ladies. Um, and I'm just gonna be getting my paint, and uh, let's see, let's get the primary yellow over here. We're going to use some primary yellow. I do have my mock-up picture here, so I kind of know what I've got to get painted. Hey, Tanya. I'm doing well today, Miss Terry. How are you? And we got black, and then I'll get the colors for the flowers when we get there. So, <coughs> y'all give me just a second, and I'm going to pull this up on my computer so I can sprinkle it across my own um, in one of my groups so how are y'all ladies doing come on go over there to Trinicula designs hey miss Marilyn hey miss Betsy Lee uh, hey miss Kathy y'all don't mind hit that little button down below and sprinkle me across the world through the Facebook world anyway um, so far, I've got one, so I, 33 people here. Y'all jump over and hit that little button for me. Let's see, I'm going to, um, okay, I'm finding it, y'all. Y'all hold tight. I appreciate your patience with me. There we go, I'm gonna, Pop it right in there to that group real quick. Hey, Miss Helen. Hey, Miss Judy. Um, hey, Miss Dawn. Um, hey, Miss uh, Miss Cindy. I was about to say, hey, Mr. Jim. Hey, Miss Cindy. <laughs> All right, so there we go. I've got that going. And I'm so glad I'm seeing actual comments, y'all. There's some days I get on my phone and I don't see my comments. I have to pull it up on my computer. Um, but before we get started on these cute little bees, y'all, I've got a little announcement to make. If you have heard, I think I popped on here we're live a couple weeks ago, so it's been a hot minute. Hey, Miss Tammy from Grace and Sparkle. Um, I'm going to be doing a virtual um, paint party on my page, or I'm saving this on my page. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on my page or either in my group that I have. That's called Trina Culex Paint Party Headquarters, um, but it's going to be absolutely free. Um, and we're going to be painting this cute little hedgehog. Y'all, how stinking cute is this hedgehog? This hedgehog has a lot of details, though. It has flowers and leaves and stuff all over its back. This screams summertime. I'm so in the fall mood right now, y'all, but I'm going to knock myself out with this thing first. Um, hey, Miss Rosemary, but we still need to get at least one more summer design in. And since we're done starting on fall in my Inside Scoop group, I decided that I will just hop on here and do a free virtual paint party to do one more summer design. Thank you, Miss Natalie, for sprinkling. I appreciate it. So the printable PDF for this will be available to y'all for downloading and being able to print at home yourself and then you will cut this out yourself. But I also have a lady, they, um, she owns Cut and Dry. She has this template available. If you don't wanna cut your own hedgehog and you want to order it, she will be able to cut this exact one out for you and do the etching if you need the etching. Um, so I will be sharing a link to all of that once this live is over. You'll be able to come back and grab it in the description. I'm gonna. Um, drop it down in there for you and we're gonna plan on doing this probably one day next week I'm thinking the 16th which I think is Friday so um 
I'm super excited about that. I think that's gonna be a really cute design. Like I said, there's a lot of details in it, but oh my goodness, y'all, we're gonna make it so beautiful. And I hope that everybody that's on here joins me. So, hey, Miss Betty, I, it's been a while. Um, I'm gonna try to scoot y'all down so y'all can kind of see what I'm gonna be doing on these cute little bees. If you did not see these bees during my live sale, this is one of the designs that I did one month in my Creators Haven group that I no longer do anymore, but this is one of those designs, and I'm gonna come on here and just paint it with you ladies. If I can get myself situated, I feel like a lost dog right now, don't know where to go. Y'all ever get in those days to where you, you're feeling like you're just all over the place and you're trying your best to get, like, get organized and get things going? Um, Hey, Miss Robin, I'm going to scoot y'all back a little bit. I know this is like really close and personal, y'all. It's kind of too close and personal, but I'm trying to get y'all so y'all can kind of see both of them because I'm going to be moving back and forth, and I don't want to cut one off from the other. So, y'all just bear with me just for a second. I think, I think that's good. How's the view, y'all? Is that pretty good? Is that pretty good? Fall is all good and all, but I'm taking down my patriotic decorations. Need something until fall. See, there you go, Miss Terry. You do this virtual painting party with us and get that hedgehog and you'll have you a cute little summer design. Hey, Miss Shirley, been a rough year and a half still doing chemo a year and a half. Oh, Miss Lynn, Miss Lynn. I'm so sorry to hear that. I know that that is something tough to have to go through. From, from my daddy. My daddy, um, my daddy passed away 16 years ago. No. Yeah, 16, 16 or 17 years ago. Is that bad? I can't remember that, y'all. Um, and he had colon cancer. And he took the, you know, chemo. And that, that's, that's definitely something that's not fun so prayers up for you and anybody that's on here that's prayer warriors y'all y'all lift miss leanne up in your prayers all right ladies let's get started all right uh y'all i'm slacking and i know i'm slacking i did not rinse my paint brushes out so i'm going to kind of do a little cheat thing that i like to do sometimes <laughs> um i brought me a clean glass of water so when i take it out of this nasty gunky water I'm going to try to clean it in this clean water, which probably won't last, won't stay clean for probably two brushes. So, um, let's go ahead and let's get started. So, I don't have y'all on here forever in a day. All right. So, we're going to start off with putting the yellow down on this bee. We're going to start with his body. And we're going, well, no, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start with his wings first. We're going to put one more white coat on his wings and go ahead and get that out the way. Or do I? No, I don't. Y'all, it's got a brain, it's got a brain. We're going to start with that yellow. See, I had it, had it right. So, the first time I painted this, I didn't really pay attention to, like, I just kind of, like, went over my eye with my yellow. Wasn't thinking that it was going to bleed through, y'all. But... When I put my white back over my eye, and then once I sprayed my gloss on here, that yellow bled through my white. So there's a little tip for you if you are painting yellow and white. The yellow will bleed through that white once you seal it. I'm sure you might can brush a sealer on there lightly and let it dry, and then put another coat, and you wouldn't have to worry about that. But so I'm going to be a little bit more careful this time and try not to get this yellow into my um, where my white eyeballs are going to be. My white eyeballs, y'all. Howdy, howdy, Miss Lisa. All right, y'all. So we got this Deco Art. This is the primary yellow. I'm just going to really get my paint mixed up in my bristles there. This is a three-quarter inch angle brush. One of my favorite brushes. I love an angle brush, y'all. Again, I'm going to try my best to go around where my eyes are at and try not to get that yellow where my eyes 
I know it's going to be white. I'm not going to too much worry about like where my little antennas is at. Those are going to be black. Um, most of the time you don't have to worry about black. Anything bleeding through black. So we're just going to keep it like that. And you, I'm going to go ahead and like just, you don't have to be super careful like where this is at because I mean this is going to be yellow anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put my yellow here. The more you paint, the more you will come to realize exactly which colors is going to will cover over each other. And I know black is going to easily cover over this yellow. So in certain areas, I don't have to be super duper careful. Um, so now I'm just going to smooth this yellow on here. But I did learn that that yellow will bleed through my white paint. So I'm going to try my best not to get it on there. Um, I am going to go ahead and just leave my piece on the ground, on the ground, y'all, on my table. And I'm going to hit my edges really quick with my yellow. I have been not doing my edges, but... Since this is an order that's going to be head, like, headed out, I do like to get my edges when I'm working on specific like orders. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one more coat on here. And we're probably going to have to come back and do one more coat because this is not covering good. Even with that white base on there. Usually the deco art is really good with its coverage. But, um... This yellow is not covering too good at all. I always love an angle brush, y'all, when I'm doing lines. To me, an angle brush, you can work a little bit better with the lines and getting them straight than any other brush. But that's just me. Also, when you're doing lines, I find it so much easier if you pull that line towards your body. It helps you keep, like, getting more control over it. And it makes your lines a lot more straighter. We're going to leave that on the table. By leaving this on the table, it's helping me not get that yellow paint like all over the back of my design too. So are you selling these? Miss Terry, I did sell these during my live sale. Um, and I took a few custom orders, but I'm not open anymore for orders. So as of right now, the only thing I'm selling with these are the actual template. So if you want to purchase the template and, you know, cut it out yourself, you can totally do that over there on trinaculipdesigns.com. Um, but I'm not selling the actual template. I'm at the actual door hangers right now. Okay. We're going to come over on this side while that one's doing its drying. And we're going to put do that same thing over here. I'm going to just scoot y'all that way a little bit. I might just keep on moving y'all back and forth. How's my connection, y'all? Is everything clear? Is it? It's not fuzzy or anything, is it? I know I've had a time with my connection lately because I can't get on my, my regular phone with um on Facebook right now and sometimes my connection is it's a hit and miss sometimes it works great and sometimes it don't and I think that's like I think that's just my connection that does that. I don't think it has anything to do with Facebook I think that's just because I live in the boonies and in the woods, and we're still on whatever it's called. We're not on the fibers. I think the fiber, if you're on fibers, you have better connection than we do. Um, but we haven't gotten the fibers yet in this area, so we're still working on the not-so-great internet connection. If 
You notice I'm doing long strokes after I get this base coat down. And that's because I'm trying to get all of those paint ridges off of my own my design so when I come back for a second coat it's going to be as smooth as possible it's going in and out you thought it was just me it keeps going in and out on my end but it could be due to storms heading in yeah that could be it keeps getting interrupted and pausing and uh, y'all I'm so sorry and it could be with the storms and stuff. We haven't had the best weather today. It was storming a while ago. It was thundering a little bit and raining. And they might have some towers down or something. There's no telling. But that's just my luck. I guess I need to break down and go to the phone company and see about getting just another phone so I can start back getting on my my LTE when I go live. But it seems like I just went and got a new phone and I don't know if it's time for me to do a, get an upgrade or not. And if it's not, then you know, I have to pay for a phone out of my pocket and I really don't feel like doing that. <laughs> But I don't know what it is. It's the weirdest thing, you know, not being able to open up. Like, seriously, y'all. Like, I can, this is my phone that my everyday talk phone. Like, I can go on to, like, the Facebook app. And then when I log in, let me show you. I'll, sh I'll show y'all what it's doing. And maybe somebody on here can, um can tell me if they've ever experienced this. Um, but when I put my, my email and my password, this is what pops up. It says login area, an unexpected error occurred, please try logging in again. And I can log in several times and it still does that same message and I even like got my sister to try to log in, my um my boys to try to log in, and it gives them the same message too. So I don't know why it won't allow me to log in with this phone. I don't know. So if y'all could, if y'all know anything about that, might be cheaper to just get your own dedicated internet upstairs. Well, it still won't help because we got a Wii Boost. That still won't do anything because it's not going to um, make the service any better. Um, I don't have any shading or nothing on here. It's the actual service that we have. We are getting the most from the service that, we, that they provide for us in my area. So we can't like upgrade it and get anything different. So even if I had my own up here, I would still have to be pulling off of all, everything that we're pulling off of now. So it's not gonna give us a better connection, if that makes sense. I probably poorly explained that. But it's just where we're at. And the fact that we don't, they don't have the the fibers, y'all, I know I'm probably not explaining this thing. I need Joey up here. Joey could tell y'all everything about it. But, y'all, I'm just putting another coat on here. But it, it is, it is so, so weird. Try deleting the Facebook app and then reinstalling. Miss Sandy, I have done that too several times. I've um, I've done everything like de deleting it, adding it, like reinstalling it and stuff. I've tried. Um, the only thing I haven't done is actually doing the factory reset thing. I haven't reset in my factory or set it back to factory settings because I don't want to lose all of my stuff. 
Um, so, I don't, I, because I have Googled and Googled and Googled, and I've seen where somebody says something that they had to go back to the factory settings of it. But then if they try to log back in using the same account, it wind up doing the same thing. And so I feel like if I did that, then it wind up still going right back to doing the same thing. Then I lost all of my stuff for no reason. So I, I'm scared to do that. But I feel like, I don't know. I need to just take it to the phone company, see when I can renew our contract and hopefully get an upgrade and just get a new phone. I've actually thought about taking this, my SIM card out and using um, the phone that I'm using now to go live as just my phone, my everyday phone. So when I go live, I can work on LTE because that's what I need to be on is my LTE. Have you shut your phone off and let it sit and then turn it back on? Miss Diane, I have turned it off, but I'm not, I can't say that I've turned it off for like a long period. So I may can try that. All right, y'all, I'm gonna give this a quick drive because there's some, some areas that I feel like needs to be hit one more time. So I will try that, Miss Diane. And it's so funny because I tried to connect it to my computer too to like get my my photos and stuff off so I could do like go back to the the factory settings and my computer won't pick up my phone. And like I can plug it in and it, nothing ever pops up. I don't know. I'm take I'm I'm not a techie person that I'm very just I don't know. I'm just not techie at all. So I may be doing something totally wrong when it comes to trying to get my pictures downloaded on my computer. But I have tried to do that and it, like I said, nothing pops up when I plug my phone into it. I'm getting clumped, y'all. All right, that is covering up those dark areas I was seeing. I have deleted text messages and reset my phone and everything came back. You did it to the factory settings, Miss um, Christine? Miss Christina? Try calling Apple Tech Support. I need to call them. I need to call them. When I call them, do I specifically say that I'm trying to use my Facebook app and it's not allowing me to, or, because they might tell me, well, that's a Facebook issue, you need to contact Facebook. And I feel like Facebook might probably tell me, well, that's an iPhone issue, you need to contact iPhone. I feel like I might would get on a, might be, like put on a, a little rabbit chase, or what do you want to call it? If y'all have ever known me with paint and stuff, I like for mine to be completely covered. I don't like none of my wood coming. Um, that's just, I wish I could let loose a little bit and just not worry about covering all of my wood. But it drives me crazy with my work when when I see my wood coming through. Okay, but there's our, our yellow. I have a dedicated internet from Clay Forge. What is that, Miss Dawn? I have a dedicated internet for Glenn Force. So you just have like your own internet, like your own um, set-top box and stuff that you use just for your Glowforge? 
and then you have one for all of your other internet connections in the house. Is that what you're talking about? I'll have to ask Joy about that, but then Lord knows, y'all. If I got just a set-top box up here and then used it, it would probably be on the same plan. So are y'all saying, like, I need to get a whole different plan with a new set-top box just for the upstairs? But y'all, it was going really well when I could use my LTE and didn't have to use my Wi-Fi. That's my whole issue right now is the LTE and Wi-Fi. We're having to use Wi-Fi. If I didn't have to use Wi-Fi, then I think we'd be good to go. If I could get it connected to, I don't know. Yes. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to add my white. Add some white on my wings here. These brushes are really stiff. I don't... They're get, these are pretty old. These are the Master Touch brushes, but they are, um, they're pretty stiff. I don't know if y'all can hear them, but even just brushing it on there, they are like stiff, stiff. I don't know, I have to ask Joey about that and see what he thinks. He might tell me, you crazy. You can get your own internet up there on upstairs. I don't know, but this shirt and Williams paint here, y'all, this stuff dries quick. It dries fast, fast. That's got to have another coat. Yeah, I need to do, I need to soak these in some Murphy's oil. Because they are stiff, stiff. Daisy's right, got to have another coat. Hey, Miss Sue. Hey, Miss Trina. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Michelle. How are y'all ladies doing today? I'm going to do one more coat on this white. These white wings are going to have some gray polka dots. Miss Dole, while you're on here, I absolutely loved that tumbler you did. That peekaboo, I think you called it. Um, and it had like the little hands or something like that on the inside of the cup. That was that was really cute. I've not seen one like that before. Yeah, I definitely won't be using this paintbrush no more until I can get these bristles a little bit more softer than what they are. I feel like it's caused my paint to streak up and leave some heavy, heavy lines on there. This is a pretty simple design, y'all. So if you wanted to paint one yourself, you can grab the template. This is like one of the easiest designs. I'm just kind of being slow today. 
we're gonna come and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get around our eyes. I did get a little bit of yellow, so when I spray this, I'm gonna try to be super duper careful and not get it too thick where my eyes are at. That also helps with the bleeding is to make sure you that you're doing like light coats. Don't get happy with the spray that first coat. Doing more than one coat, it's totally fine, that's okay. Joey's calling me and I'm on live. I'm gonna have to text him and let him know. That I'm live. Y'all, I'm cooking shepherd's pie tonight. I've never cooked shepherd's pie. I've already got everything done. My hamburger meat. I've done got my mashed potatoes done. So now all I've got to do is stack it and throw it in the oven. And it will be good to go. Have any of y'all ever did the shepherd's pie? This will be my first time. Are you calling me again? Let me text you and let him know I'm live. <coughs> uh, Miss, oh goodness, Estella. You can find the templates at trinaculitdesigns.com. I'm going to put one more coat of this white on my wings, y'all. Because I can still see some dark areas and I feel like that needs to be covered. I'm also going to go over this one again really quick. Have y'all ever, ever feel like you like you cooking the same stuff over and over and over? Well, I've got that feeling and I feel like we just eat the same thing over and over and over and we have never done like shepherd's pie before or I've never cooked it. <clears throat> so I was like, we're gonna do something different. I, I just need something different. I'm gonna give this a quick dry, y'all. I pronounced it correctly, oh my goodness. My friend just made shepherd's pie. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all what she made. It was good, Miss Terry. I've never made it, so I'm hoping it turns out good. At least to where we can eat it. Not plan anyway. Meanwhile, we can burger meat, beef gravy, sweet peas. I put sweet peas in mine, and I did um some kind of jar grain stuff or beef broth, come on up. Um, and then mashed potatoes on top, and sprinkled cheese on top, and then bake it. That's similar to what I'm doing, Miss Michelle. I just don't have cheddar cheese. I've got some shredded Parmesan cheese. I wonder if that would be good on it. Joey. He says, y'all, got to go next Georgetown, be a little bit late getting home. All right, so let's add 
add another coat onto our eyes. I feel like when I come by with y'all, I slow everything down because I'm a way faster painter than this actually, y'all, but I don't know. Y'all must make me nervous. So what do y'all think Parmesan cheese? Y'all think Parmesan cheese will be okay with it on top? Like it's the shredded Parmesan cheese. Do I have black outlines around his eyes? I do. Anytime you have like a black outline on something, y'all, you don't have to be like super duper careful, careful with the outline part like around his white because once I put that black outline, that's going to hide a lot of those imperfections or my little boo-boos that I got going on. So, there we go. That eye's a little bit smaller than that eye, but I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. Um, always. That's when I go to the internet and look up something different. Yeah, see, that's, that's me. Pinterest it is. I'm working on two hangers. Yeah, but I still feel like I'm working like super slow. But it's all right. It's all right. Um, all right, let's go ahead. Let's put our gray dots onto our little wings here. Let me see. Do I have gray? Let me grab my gray. Probably going to be this oops, granite gray. This is my kind of like go-to gray um, because it's, ne it's not too dark and it's not too light. But it's the granite gray by Apple Barrel. I tend to really grab that more than any other gray. All right, so rule with polka dots. Does anybody know what the rules of polka dots are when you're painting polka dots? Never tried the, the prom cheese. I've only tried shredded and sliced cheese. Hmm, I do got sliced cheese. All right, so rule with polka dots is you want to paint them in three, and you want to paint them as to make a triangle. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about if you have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a polka dot. Um, you know what? But if you've never painted a polka dot before and they intimidate you, I'm going to also show you how you can do a polka dot really easy with using a paintbrush and not one of the little sponge pouncers. So, let's see. I make mine with tomato soup. Ooh. And top with cheese. My children loved this when they were growing. Ooh, I did put a can of tomatoes in my um, beef, though. I put tomatoes in my beef. I put the peas. I seen the recipe where it said carrots, but I didn't have no canned carrots. And um, the beef broth. And then, of course, salt and pepper and onions. I'm going to put a bell pe pepper in there. But I don't know if, how y'all like y'all's bell peppers. I don't like my bell peppers soft to where they're... Well, I don't like my bell peppers cooked soft, mushy. So that's like the last thing I always add into my my stuff is my bell pepper. So I'm just gonna add those. Um, I still like my crunchy, and I may be weird, y'all. So what you're gonna do is I'm using an angle brush, but you can use really any kind of brush. But you're gonna sit here and you're gonna put your first dot down, and you're gonna just do it like a half of a circle, kind of like a C. And then you would take your other side and you would connect it and then you would just do the other side and then you fill that center part in. Then you can just take it and kind of just straighten it out if you need to. If there if it's not like exactly even or how you want it and just smooth it out. That is a simple way to do a dot. All right, so the rule of thumb with dots is you want to do them in sets of threes and you want to do them in making like a triangle. Or I'm saying a set of three, but to make this triangle, you're going to have three dots. All right, so with this dot, we're going to put one over here. This one's going to kind of look like it's going to go off the side of my, my B. This is where it gets kind of tricky for some people because they're going off their wood and they can't really judge it to where the other tri where the other dot needs to be to create this triangle. 
So you're still going to look at it as like a triangle. Y'all know a triangle is, you know, has the point on the top and it has the three points on the side. So to create a triangle here, we're going to go from here to here. Then that will make a triangle in that area there. So then you're going to come over here and you're going to draw, not draw y'all, you're going to paint your dot there. That dot kind of got a little bit crazy, but I'm just going to come back and I'm just going to kind of straighten it out just like that. And this one is smaller, so I'm just going to come and I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. And see how you can come back and you can adjust these dots so if they're not exactly perfect y'all don't worry about it um that's the whole point of having handmade stuff so now that you see how we created that triangle so now what you're going to do because that's three dots that created the triangle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use these two dots and i'm going to create a triangle down here at the bottom so it would be do do and then i would have that circle here to create that triangle Just like that. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build off of these dots, making triangles with all of these dots. So we got two dots here. And if we do a triangle, that dot needs to be there. Because we did do, do, do. Now we're going to use these two dots and you're going to do one here. And don't stress over these dots, y'all, if you're using your paintbrush because you're not using a, a pouncer. One, two, we're going to do a dot here. So I feel like when you're not using a pouncer, if your dots is not exactly completely round, then it's totally fine. Um... I try to straighten my dots out as much as possible, but you know, there's some that's not perfect and I'm totally fine with that. All right, so it gets tricky here too, y'all, when you're trying to decide where these dots are, are going to create that triangle because it actually goes off of your wood. So you're just gonna go here, here, and then here. Now you're not gonna put this whole dot here because you will have to make that whole dot a lot smaller than the other dots. So you automatically kind of know that it's going to go off of your wood. So we're just going to put it in the placement to where we know that the back end of that dot will then come in there to create that triangle. Just like that. And that's what you're going to figure out with all of these other ones. Is like where exactly would that dot be if that whole piece of wood was there. We're going to do this one. And I'm just going to come, I'm going to put one, like a half of one, right there. Just going to be super careful. And I think I need one here. And just anywhere you feel like you would have created that triangle is where you're going to put your dot. And I feel like I probably would have started a triangle one there. Just like that. <coughs> I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to do that same thing on this one. Now this one might have dots in, wait a minute, in different little areas. Because, you know, again, it's hand painted. So most of the time when they're hand painted, there's going to be different variations with each design. And to me, that's why I always say, you know, when they're hand painted, you're kind of like getting a one of a kind piece because it's hard to get one to look exactly like identical to the first one you've done. And that's what makes hand painted stuff so, to me, so so special. All right, we're gonna put one here. And 
And you see how these dots, they're not being in the exact same spot as those dots are? Now this dot, to me, looks a little bit too crazy, so I am going to come and just try to straighten that out just a little bit more. There we go. And when you're straightening them out, just slow, just slow down with your paintbrush until you get it to the shape that, you, that you're satisfied with. I have seen, you know, some painters, they will um, do their dots like I'll show you in just a minute. I think it's great when you're doing like smaller dots. Let's see, let's go from this triangle to that triangle. I mean, this one and create a triangle here. And we're going to kind of get off on the other side of that wing there. And then we're going to put one right here. Maybe, maybe, let's see, we put one kind of coming off, might have started right there. And I think maybe one would have started right there. All right. So y'all see how we did that? These definitely needs one more coat. Let's go ahead. Let's go. I like to get everything finished before I move on, y'all. I don't know why, but I really do. I like to finish this side, like this section, then I move on to another section instead of like bouncing all over. It just keeps me more organized with my actual painting. Hey, Miss Mary. Hey, Tetra. I'm just going to go over that one more time in the center of my dots. That was way too much gray paint. Um, so I'm just going to kind of like hit it in the center with my second coat here and kind of just spread it out towards the, the edge. But I'm super excited about the virtual paint party. I'm excited about that cute little hedgehog. Um, this will be the first time I've ever painted a hedgehog before. And this one's going to be super adorable, adorable, I think, with all the flowers and stuff. It's actually gave me a, an idea of one of the fall designs I want to do in my inside scoop group. So I'm thinking of doing like a fall hedgehog, y'all. How super cute would that be? So if you want to get in on that, it's totally free. We're going to plan it for next Friday. Not like I said, I'm not sure if I want to do it here on my page or if I'm going to do it over there in my group, um, Triniculic Designs um, Door Hanger Headquarters. I may share that link with y'all. But one thing about that group is I want to keep that group to makers and not like buyers because I don't want that group to be a salesy group. I want to keep it to where it's more of a learning group um, and a group to where you share your, your actual paintings and stuff versus, you know, people there wanting to buy and it becoming like a, a marketplace. We do have a group for that. 
in my inside scoop group that we're going to be doing. I'm just waiting on the ladies to let me know who all wants to participate. And it's going to be where they're going to be live and selling some of their items in that group. And I'm going to share that group too. Um, maybe not today because I don't want to confuse y'all with which group. But um, that's super fun. I'm excited with to have that going. All right, so our next step, let's go ahead and let's start with our black. I'm gonna grab up a smaller paintbrush. If you have a paint pen, you can actually do this, you know, with a paint pen as well because these are kind of small dots. They're not big. It's not a big area. Y'all, I used to have like gooey stuff on that paintbrush from just sitting in, from it sitting in that water for so long. That is so terrible, y'all. Awful. I've got to start doing better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to come here. You can either take, you can really grab anything. You can take your paintbrush, I mean your paintbrush, like a paint bottle, and you can like come and trace around this paint bottle to make a circle there for your eyes if you wanted to. Um, just to give you some kind of guidance. If you wanted to, like use your pouncer, you can do your pouncers on these eyes because they're just, it's just a little round black dot. Um, if you wanted a bigger circle, you know, just grab a bigger, something that's bigger with the roundness of it. So now I'm going to take my black, this is a 3 8 angle brush, and I'm just going to go around and color in my black there for my eyes. And y'all, my paint brush still had a little bit of water in it, so it kind of got off on me right there. Casey, I can't talk right now, girl, I'm live. We're gonna get these black eyeballs done. And there's those. This one still bothers me because Because to me, it doesn't look smooth. All right. Still doesn't. I don't know. But we're going to just go with that. And we're going to leave it. Because it don't have to be perfect. All right. So if you wanted to use this smaller paintbrush, you can still use it for that. But I think I'm going to grab up a bigger paintbrush. And I'm definitely going to try to find a bigger angle paintbrush. One of those are angles. Dear Lord, y'all. This is pitiful. Okay. Any questions so far? Hey, Miss Debbie. Thank you so much. They are super cute. Alright, Friday the 6th. Oh, is it Friday the 16th? She hasn't mentioned time yet. Yeah, Friday the 16th. Oh, I, I did that because I was thinking you, I had Friday the 13th in my mind. Goodness. Yep, so thinking Friday the 16th, which is next Friday, guys. All right. So now we're just going to take that black. This paintbrush seems like it has a lot of dirt in it or something. Hmm. My paintbrushes, y'all, they just, they just desperately need help. And we're going to come and we're going to start painting our black stripes that a bee has. You don't really have to worry about this black on that yellow because that yellow is not going to come through the black here, y'all. Or I say it's not. It's never came through. I've never had a color come through black on me. 
not even a red. And y'all, if y'all know ever painted, you know the color red bleeds through everything. But I've never had anything come through with my black. Because black is, you know, the dark color is... And then this part on his tail is completely black as well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my edges with the black. Go ahead and hit that black tail on the edges. Just like that. And now we're going to come up here and we're going to get his little antennas. And with this black showing up on my table like that, it may look a little bit confusing to y'all, but I'll sh when I move it, you'll be able to see exactly. Like, it's just the antennas that I'm painting. I'm just hitting my edges, y'all. So there's that bee. I'm going to go ahead and get this antenna. Does anybody else hate painting the edges on things? I do not like painting my edges anymore. I used to paint them every time I painted something. And talk my ladies, you know, I used to be like, y'all get your edges. But now, I'm like, I don't get my edges. I feel like it just, it's a lot of wasted time. Because if you ever notice, like even with the backs, you ever notice that when you buy something from Hobby Lobby, none of their stuff has their edges done nor do they have their backs. You've got that front piece that's painted and that's it. Thank you, Miss Donna, for sprinkling. How is the paint, how is the paint party work? Miss Sue, um, all you will do is you will download the free printable, printable template that I provide for y'all. You will print that out at home. And if you, you know, this is if you cut yourself, then you will cut it using whatever you use to cut with. And um, then I'm gonna pop on live and during that live, I'm just going to paint it with y'all and kind of do it step by step on showing you how to get it painted. And if you can't cut yourself, um, Miss Teresa would cut and dry. She is going to provide the blanks for you. Um, so if you want to order the blanks instead of cutting it out yourself, that is available as well. And I will share a link to her page, I meant to her website, with the hedgehog so you will be able to order it. And I will do that when I get off of here. Um, and then all you have to do is click that link and you'll be able to go to her website to order the, the template. All right, ladies, you notice? That this stripe got a little bit bigger than what I had planned on it being. 
So I'm gonna kind of match it with this one and we're gonna go a little bit bigger. So it'll look like, you know, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be that big because the rest of them's about that big too. get the lights on. I'm going to have paint all over my shirt. Probably could have used a little bit of a smaller paintbrush for this or one that wasn't so thick. This one's been worn out for a little while. So it's holding a whole lot of paint and it's spreading out on me a little bit more than it needs to be. That's okay. We're making it work, y'all. We're making it work. Alright, so there's our black on our beads. Hey, Miss Helen. Um, I never noticed before that the sides and backs weren't painted. Nope. I have, no, I have not Oh Lord, I have not painted, I mean, I have never seen one painted. Never. All right. Um, let's see. I think the black's gonna be good, y'all. I'm gonna add like one more coat in there. Did I do any kind of highlights? I did not. I kept this one pretty simple, y'all. I didn't do any kind of like shading and blending to it. I just kind of did the basics and kept it simple and easy, which is kind of a good thing. But you know what I do want to do? Y'all, I want to add, I want to do a little bit of something. I'm just going to get a little bit of white, y'all, and I'm going to add a little bit of white. the white shading in the center of my stripes here. Just to give it a little bit more, that's got to be, I got to get that weight a little bit more. Just to try to get a little bit more dimension There's that. Where's my black? All right. We're gonna wet this a little bit, a little bit there in the center, and grab a little bit of white. Kind of put that in the center. And just kind of like smooth it in. We're gonna wet this black one more time. Grab a little bit of that white. Slap it down in the center. We're going to do that to the rest of them as well. There we go. We add a little bit of white to its tail to give it a little bit of something going on there too. So there we go. Maybe even a little bit in its little um, antennas. Just like that. All right, y'all. I'm going to grab up one of my paint pens. And I'm going to come here and draw out his little mouth. Just like that. I kind of see where his mouth was at, and then I kind of can't see where his mouth was at. But first, we're going to grab 
a little bit of a pink. Let me grab. I need a light pink. I think I did a really light pink on this. Let's see. We're gonna grab about cameo pink. I may add a little bit of white to it just to make it a little bit lighter. And we're gonna do his little cheeks. So we're gonna make this cameo pink a little bit lighter. And we're just gonna draw little round cheeks right here. Draw, we're gonna paint some round cheeks right here. I think these round dots for the cheeks gives it more of a whimsy look. So if you've ever got, if you've got a face and you want it to be more whimsy, add some little rosy little cheeks to it. And to me that adds that whimsy, that whimsy look to it. Don't y'all think? Don't you think it makes it cute and adds whimsy? And this one's a lot smaller, so I'm going to try to make it a little bit more bigger by bringing it down. I'm kind of running out of space on the edge there. Okay, there's that. All right, y'all, so we are done besides... Um, doing the black outlines. I do need to paint the flowers, but I don't think I'm gonna paint the flowers today, y'all. I may pop on here tomorrow and do the flowers with y'all. Let's give this a quick dry and we'll add the little finishing touches to it. y'all. Isn't he so cute? Alright, so yeah, because it's 514, so I've had y'all on here for a little over an hour. Alright, so we're going to grab up our white paint pen. I love paint pens, y'all. So our white and our black. I'm going to come around his wings with this black. Now right here, this one kind of comes this way. So we're just, I'm going to kind of start here and kind of, well, no, I'm not. I'm going to come like from here. And we're just going to bring that there and bring it down just like that. And to separate this line, this helps too when you're not, like you don't have two states of a hand and drawing, like drawing a long, long, like line. If you stop and you want to separate it, like a zigzag or something, that helps to where you don't have that long line that you've got to worry about getting straight. Now I'm going to do a zigzag there, and we're going to bring this there. All right. I am going to come. I didn't do this with white, I mean with black there, but I, I think I am. I think I'm going to come here with the black, just like that. 
and maybe comb there with the black. Just like that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this one as well. Because believe it or not, even on this black, you you can see this black because we put that white on the center, so it made this black a lighter shade than our actual paint pen. All right, so now we're gonna trace around our eyes. So I'm not gonna go like, I'm not gonna try to make this completely perfect, y'all. And I'm not gonna try to stay completely on like the edge of my eyes. Because if we did that, that would drive us completely crazy trying to stay on the very edge. So we're going to do just like that. And you can actually do like the zigzags and stuff on your eyes as well. Instead of doing that one big circle. Mine just kind of went a little bit off there, but I'm not going to stress over it. It's totally okay. Um, and we're going to go around his his face here. I'm going to start from up here. We're going to bring this around. We're going to go around his face. Did I do any zigzags? I did not, but. I feel like zigzags on this face too will kind of help you from feeling like you need to like to fill in an area. But like where my cheeks is, if I go there, there, yeah, you know, it's gonna kind of like go over that, but it's okay. All right, so we're gonna grab our white. A white paint pen sometimes, y'all. I can't handle them. And then we did, we did some wiggly lines there. We did that. Um, we did the lines in the black. We did wiggly lines there. We did some wiggly lines there. We also did some dots. We're gonna put some dot there. We're gonna put dot there. And let's do dots there. That needs to be separated. Let's do dots there. Um, I'm going to put some little swooshy lines in my dots in my wings. Little swooshy lines. Very quick and whimsy. Whimsy, whimsy, what do you want to call it? And then I also have a big old dot here in his eye. So we're gonna put that dot there. We're gonna try to do that same size dot there. And then we have a little dot here to kind of make it look like his little eyes has a little glare. Okay. 
Oh, we got to do the wings. I'm at little antennas here. And I feel like we need some white in a space there. There we go. I thought like that might, might have completed it. All right, so that's it. So here's our cute little bees. Now what we're going to do is I may come back on here tomorrow or it may be, I don't know y'all, maybe Thursday. Tomorrow is Thursday, maybe Friday. And we're going to paint the little flowers. These little flowers, they will be attached here. So, maybe tomorrow, but I'm, I don't know, it may be Friday. I do have two more things, two more orders I've got to get painted. So, and once that white there dries, I'm going to come back and put another coat of white on top of those, those eyes there. All right, ladies. Thank you, Miss Regina, for sprinkling. And Miss Marie, y'all are awesome. You need this template, Miss Lisa? You can go to triniculatedesigns.com and you can grab it from there, Miss Teresa. Oh, was that Miss Teresa? Who said that? You love the bees, Miss um, Miss Marie? Glenda, got a house full of grandbabies just now. Got to, got on to watch. Love the bees. Thank you, Miss Glenda. Enjoy those grandbabies. Yeah, Miss Lisa said that about the things, the, the template. Those will be good for Pat. Miss Cindy, one of these beans are actually yours, and this will be your order um, completed. Um, so I will message you once I finish the bees and get them sealed, but all of your other stuff is sealed and ready to go. You've got like seven items, eight items, plus um, with the bees in the one that I had to make. All right, so ladies, thank you so much. Be looking forward to more information on, um, I mean, looking forward to the links that you can purchase the hedgehog from. The PDFs um, will get posted. Probably to probably tomorrow or either Friday, y'all. Um, but the free virtual paint party will be on the 16th, which is next Friday. You're welcome, Miss Shirley. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I hope y'all have enjoyed this, and I will be seeing y'all maybe tomorrow, but for sure Friday.